So let's talk about estranged grandparents. So many of the estranged grandparents in my practice say, you know, being estranged from my adult child is painful enough, but to be cut off from my grandchildren is one of the worst things that I've ever gone through. Some of the estranged parents in my practice have never met their grandchild. They might have heard heard about their existence from somebody else or learned about it on Facebook. Others have been very dedicated, involved grandparents. Maybe they were taking care of their grandchildren multiple times a week until there was some event or occurrence happened or some kind of misunderstanding or conflict, which caused the adult child to say, I'm cutting off contact with you and I'm cutting off contact um, with your grandchildren as well. It's not typically stated that way, but often parents will say, well, can I at least see my grandchildren? And typically, uh, the adult child will say that, you know, we're a package deal, which I think is tragic because there's ample evidence that a good close relationship between p grandparents and grandchildren is not only good for grandparents in all the ways that seem kind of obvious, but also it's good for children's cognitive um, and emotional development. Secondly, more typically, at least what I've seen in my practice, is that um, that estranged grandparents, when the grandparents are estranged from their grandchildren, it's most more typically they're a casualty of the parent-adult-child conflict, not the grandparent-grandchild conflict. Now, sometimes it happens because the grandparent is not able or willing to accept the limits uh, they're imposed either by, by uh, their adult child or by the spouse of their adult child. So I think if that's been the case for you, um, you need to, by way of repair, make it clear that they're the parents, they get to set the terms of the relationship, that you're sorry for crossing their boundaries, that you want to work on having a relationship both with them and their children in a way that feels respectful of them and their boundaries. The topic of boundaries is incredibly an important one to have, and particularly for today's um, adult children. So you don't don't act like there's a um, you can have a separate relationship with your grandchildren because typically that's not the case. And some some adult children feel really um, um, offended by that kind of like, oh, you just care about my children, you don't really care that much about me. So I think you want to make it clear that your goal for repair is really for both. Now, finally, some estranged grandparents, particularly if it's been going on for a while, want to take their adult child to court um, to sue for visitation with their grandchildren. And there are a few states where you can do that. If you're considering doing that, make sure you know the law and that you hire somebody who's... Um, sophisticated in those laws. Um, there was a Supreme Court decision, Troxville versus Granville, Troxville versus Granville in 2000, which basically said that parents have the right, only the right to make that, only parents have the right to make that determination, that grandparents don't really have that kind of right. So you'd have to have a very strong legal case. A and B, you probably are going to have to give up if you're going to take your kid to court on a later reconciliation, because most adult children find that so provocative. So it would be the last place that I would go, and I wouldn't go there unless there had been years and years and, of, of your trying, and unless there was a really good case uh, for a potential reconciliation. But in general, you want to see if you can solve it uh, in every other way uh, before going there. And it's most typically around the issues around respecting boundaries and limits or addressing the other complaints that your adult child or their spouse have, which may have absolutely nothing to do with grandparenting.